way. That's not bad. So we're going to play one more because what we can do is commit to play much further right. Yeah. So if you've been used to fading this driver, one of the last places your body wants to let you swing is to the right. So teeing up on the left and swinging to the right is a real challenge to the system. Yeah. So those shots are telling you your face and path. They're in the draw spectrum, which is great. So now we can start to actually feel the swing. Our swing is probably in the direction of those trees. It's not really going to be, if I can borrow the club, while you're feeling you're feeling that swing out there to the right. I mean, look how far right that is, but by the time you get to the golf ball, yeah. it's marginal, yeah. and it's off on the, and you've got the club yeah. releasing and closing. Yeah. So now you've got the face closing inside the path, got a ball just starting right and drawing, but that means we need the swing out here, yeah. which is very different to where it normally goes. So just allowing yourself to explore yeah. that space on the right. Yeah. That rough's thin as well on the right, so you've kind of got, you've got so much room to play. You're actually using all that tree line as a cue for your movement. Just watch it. It's a far better shot for us in this stage yeah. of practice because you let yourself go to the right. Yeah. Have you got one more ball? You're in the right place now to let the club, let the club free wheel. So that direction was great. Don't be put off by that. We're just going to let the face rotate. Yeah. That's awesome. A great drive. Perfect. Now, this is what practice is about. Yeah. Okay, if you had nailed that first time, that would have been all well and good, but we've just experienced what we don't want. That helps consolidate what we do want. I felt the last time with face clothing. You knew as soon as yeah. you did it again, just like on the range. The pins at the front, so we can take off, say, five meters. So I'd say one, 135, so play one, 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 four, five yards. I have no idea at the moment. <laughs> so <laughs> After today, I have no idea. I would say nine iron. Yeah. Really? Okay. Because it's also downhill, yeah. so it's taking off maybe a quarter okay. to half a club. With a so, lot of trust in you. Uh, yeah, I'd, well, the way you're I hitting it... You would have taken probably seven iron for that. What for, yeah, not, I would say, not now. You've been hitting the seven iron about 180, so I would say this is a nine iron shot at the max. Particularly off that lie as well. Yeah. Might get a bit of a flyer. Just feeling that smooth, it's smooth tempo, basically. And matching the shape of the swing to the shape of the shot. Yeah, that's what happens. So, it's good that we're seeing that out here because that's essentially the shift yeah. that we're missing. Yeah. So, that's what happens on the course all the time. So, let's grab another ball. Yeah. Now, you have got options. We're talking about a fairly full shot here. You yeah. can drop down to a heart, like a three-quarter shot with an eight. Yeah, but... So that I, would be... I have to get it done. <laughs> so, yeah, but what I'm, what I'm talking about is you're going to find out what your yardages are. Yeah. And if this is right on the edge of a full swing, it's better to drop back to an eight and play a smooth eight and yeah. control it than play at max just for the yeah. distance. But let's find out if this is the distance first. Yeah. So our shift needs to be, yeah, the drop. Yeah. The drop to shift needs to be in the direction for the shape of the shot. So we can yeah. we can be shifting and swinging. You see where those two, where the, where the doors are over there? Yes. That's where, yeah. that's where you want to be shifting and swing in two, that's the direction to swing. Yes, well done. So what you felt was to the right, good shot. It's a great shot on this hole, what we want. What you felt was right can be further right. What you're getting a sense of now here, for these tolerances of how far you can go to the yeah. right, yeah. because what you sense has been miles right is fractional, Yeah. because you're so used to bias, being biased to yeah. the left. Yeah. Okay, what we can do is just have a little forward press. We can actually start to soften this off a little bit okay. with the wrist. So you yeah. can, yes, you, you're going to lead with the hands and you can you can actually now give yourself a little bit more freedom in the swing and just play, it's like a little punch shot. So you can, yeah, you can lead with the hands and you can firm it up on the way through. But there's a little, bit more, a little bit more fluidity to it. Yes, like that. So you can let the swing weight move a little bit as opposed to it all being kind of a block movement again. We're not, we don't want rigidity. 
We want to use utilize the field. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. So using the swing weight and the bounce. Yeah. And just letting yourself let the club swing a bit more freely. If you want to play, yeah. play that one as well. Yeah. So this requires a little bit more force. Yeah. You can play it a little bit before the ball as well. So actually hitting the ground here. Mm -hmm. You don't need to catch the ball first. Yeah. Use the bounce. So hands forward a little bit, a little soft, but a little bit steeper into the ball, into the into the grass. That's it. Fantastic, that's sure. how you play it. So you play, you're letting the club work through the ground. Yeah. That's it. Slightly different feel. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's also again, all about low, low point control. Yeah. But the, hand, the hands are leading, but the club's lagging, but it's yeah. soft, it's fluid. Yeah. That's it. Brilliant. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Picture in the fly, it's the start line and the drawback, that's it, and the finish to match it. That's it? Yeah. Oh. Shot. Perfect. That's that's the shot that was coming. Yeah. You still want to have the kind of acceleration and the assertiveness to the shot yeah. but you want to be controlling it so kind of a, a gap wedge three quarter you can be aggressive with it and positive yeah. sound wedge yeah you could but we don't really want to be playing a full shot with full speed in yeah. this kind of distance so it's kind of three quarters but yeah. being, being positive with the, str the strike so important and these are these clubs have lots of bounds yeah. generally so you can use the leading edge more from this distance yeah. Yeah, so nice. you can go shorter backs, but you can go much shorter. But to go shorter, if I can show you, sure. we're not actually controlling the backswing length by using the arms to control it. You're using the, the weight shift. Okay, so faster weight shift. Yeah, earlier. If you just do that with your right er, hand. Earlier, yeah. So just do the step exercise back and through. You'll be stepping back before the club, even earlier than that. So you want to be throwing it back there. So that's a, that's a little bit controlled. I want you to throw it back and then use the okay. use the, the change of direction. Yes, so use the change of direction with the weight shift. That there we go. That's it. Then the club reacts. The wrists react. Can you feel that? Yeah. Mm. That's the that's the lag. Yeah. Then we that's it. Then you can get the leading edge and the bounce working. Okay. So at any right of the flag, you'd be aiming really here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the kind of sensible shot, right edge between the flag and the right side of the green, right centre. Perfect. What a golf shot. That's a great shot, Daniel. That is awesome. Okay. So you're using the weight shift, the yeah. timing of it. Yeah. For the distance for those for the distance control. This one two or should we move up? No, we're alright, just fire in and then we'll walk across. It's okay. That's it, so using that more that earlier weight shift. That's it. Oh, that's oh, brilliant. Super sharp. Great. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and then you get that lower fly. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of Never seen that. You see, if you go full out, you're releasing all the loft. Yeah. And it's kind of low points a bit back, further back. You're compromising the stride. Yeah. And you can't loft, you can't get the sweet spot to the ball like that. So that gives you a bit more compression. Yeah. So you get a bit more spin. Yeah. So although it comes in lower, it, yeah. you get more check on the first yeah. bounce. Yeah. So now into the wind, dead straight at the flagstick. It's a pretty straight put that. Yeah. Well played. Park. Nice one. Brilliant. Well done. So same kind of gap wedge shot using the fringe to take that first bounce and just let it release up okay because you're going to get a lower flight into the wind you could go aerial and go with a sand wedge and blast it but the thing is 10 15 foot long is better than 10 15 foot short playing for that lower shot yeah. so use your weight shift for the lower ball flight that's it because it's going to shift the low point forward and that give you a natural deal off to the club but you can be really kind of assertive with that that punch through that's it 
I mean, that's brilliant. You can be a bit more assert. I mean, that's an awesome golf shot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's, that plays that plays in all conditions, that shot. Yeah. No, that's a nice one. I've never played that. I mean, this is a, actually a go-to kind of action for a, yeah. this kind of distance, whatever club. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, yeah, watch it though, because you've got the loft. This could be even better than the first one. Because yeah. it checks, because you've got the loft, you've got, yeah. the, you've got the spin. Yeah. Go and play one more. In between those two will be good. Yeah. In the hole be like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that can go on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What a shot. Oh, Stop it. Daniel. He's only done it as well. Look at that. That's a great shot. Oh, it's just brilliant. Stunning. Awesome. Those are nice. Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> Happy with that? Yeah. Thanks. Fantastic. Well done. Brilliant. You've got a feel now for the shots from this kind of distance. And it's quite a simple technique. Yeah. And you can use the sand wedge, the wedge, the gap wedge. The breeze was a bit stronger. Just use the pitching wedge. Good day, Daniel. Brilliant, well done, mate. I will be speaking well. There you go, you will be, yeah, well done. Awesome. Enjoyed it? Yeah, very much. Brilliant. Brilliant.